the first time I said, oh, I'm going to run for the parliamentary seat, they laughed it off. I was to be married over the age of 13, and then later on again at around uh, 18. In my father's third attempt to marry me off, I was going to be a fourth wife. This is what many Maasai girls go through. A lot of them died at childbirth. Others died during female genital mutilation out of overbleeding. And I just thought society is not treating the girl child as they should. So for me, that really became almost the one single drive of, of wanting to change society. Education has been my one single priority because for me, I have seen the difference education has made in my life. And I believe it's the long-term solution to all those harmful traditions. Maasai girls now at least are getting enrolled in schools. Even for me, just being there has encouraged a lot of parents to have their girls in schools and to retain them. Some of them are saying, now, you see, a girl can become anything, uh, anything in this life, if you give them the opportunity. In the Maasai culture, I think the elders were not psychologically prepared for a woman leader. Maasai Gairu Nasema, Iyo Manamaya Manasema Mishia Sisi, they gathered and did some cursing ceremony. So the elders came and said, she will die. Even those who will vote for her, they will die. So that became the talk in the constituency. She's cast. She's cast. But let me tell you, the young people, including young men, came out and said, all right, fine, we are ready to die with her uh, because we are tired of the men leaders. And, and, and so we want to try a different direction. These who are my strongest opponents, the, the elders we are going to meet. I mean, those who even wished me death. And they were saying, today before the sun sets, let it go with her. <laughs> Some warmth. <laughs> Have you ever had that warm feeling? <laughs> kijiji <laughs> The fact that those who cast me had been converted and they became my supporters, for me, it meant a whole world to me. It meant really that I could move forward in confidence, knowing that I have the whole society behind me. <laughs> 